Squid Game, does it ring a bell? If you're not living under a rock, then most probably you've heard about this globally famous show from Netflix set in South Korea. Squid Game is today's most streamed series in the giant online platform Netflix, and it has officially surpassed British-made Bridgerton as the platform's top performing series debut. And there's no doubt that households are continuing on watching until now, keeping the scores higher and higher. According to a report, 111 million households have already watched the series, which is pretty mind-blowing for a South Korean show. Not to mention, it also received an impressive score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, it is also no news that the cast of this suspense drama series have been dominating the social media today, gaining millions of new followers and, of course, elevating them to global fame. But apart from the real-life cast behind the characters, there's another person who dominated and became the talk of the town, or the world, rather. This character is Ali. There's no argument that Ali is one of the most lovable characters in Squid Game, and a report even described him as South Korea's most genuine and fragile character yet. Well, there's no doubt about that. Inside Ali's strong demeanor lies a heart of gold, but sadly, this heart was also the one that actually caused his tragic demise. A lot of fans are saying that Ali might still be alive because he's one of the most important characters in the Squid Game series after all. Do you think this is true? And if so, what are the things that make Ali the most valuable character in Squid Game? Stay until the end of this video to find out why. But before anything else, make sure first to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates on this. Now, let's begin. Fans around the world have fallen in love with the characters of Netflix Squid Game. The Korean drama brings together 456 participants stuck in the same situation with a desperate need of a way out. Each one has his or her own reason to go back to the game, but not everyone has the same level of connection to us. And perhaps we could all agree that one of the most heartbreaking personas in the game was Ali, a Pakistani migrant who, let's all face it, he is the most resonating character in the series. It's as if everything that he does just has its own way to tug into our heartstrings. And we all believe that Ali is not a typical character. Ali Abdul was played by Anupam Tripathi, an Indian actor. Tripathi is no stranger to K-drama fans as he has played many minor roles on television as a foreign character. For global fans, Tripathi is breaking the mold and representing minorities like it has never been seen before in a K-drama. His character Ali is a warm-hearted and affectionate character who does everything for his family. And that, perhaps, is one of the things that makes Ali an important character. He represents a whole group of people fighting for their lives in other countries just to earn enough for their families back in their countries. Ali Abdul is a Pakistani migrant worker who moves to South Korea to make enough money to support his family. When he fails to do so and his boss refuses to pay him, he takes the chance and participates in the games. Thankfully, the actor himself can very much relate to this character of Ali. Tripathi is a jack of all trades and dedicated himself to his work. The Indian actor felt a connection to his Squid Game character as he too immigrated to South Korea in 2010. Ali's story needed to come alive on screen in a way that would reach fans globally. According to Soompi, to prepare for the role, Tripathi explains, I also looked at texts about migrant workers and labor issues around the world. I looked back on how I acted in similar roles in the past and thought about what I could do to express the character of Ali in the least cliché manner possible. Let's break down some of Ali's characteristics that make him even more valuable in the show and as a character that may just be on the side but literally lifted the whole season. Ali is obviously one of the strongest among the players, and that has been depicted wisely in the first episode. From the very first episode, the kind-hearted player shows he's willing to risk his own life to save Ji Hun, whom he didn't even know, by lifting him up in red light, green light. As an immigrant, he knows what it's like to be mistreated by cruel individuals, and he doesn't want anyone else to experience hardships like he did. Ali works with Ji Hun and their team to win every game. His strength is invaluable in tug-of-war and during the violent riots. Ali has a good heart. He keeps everyone ahead in the game, but also has been betrayed by doing so. He's willing to do everything humanly possible just to keep his friends alive, which unfortunately makes it easy for Sang Woo or Player 218 to trick him in the fourth game. The look of disappointment, shock, and sadness on Ali's face as he realizes what Sang Woo has done is almost unbearable to watch. 
Safe to say the entire population wept when they saw Ali's face after he clocked what Sang Woo had done. He was too trusting and naive to survive the vicious competition. It was obvious from the very start of the game that he was too kind and pure to win it. He would never have advanced to the next round either, or even to the final one which requires deep violence. And fans love that. One review even said, I'd even go as far to say that if I had to play marbles against Ali, I'd purposely let him win. Squid Game featured a lot of deaths, but Ali had a lasting impact. It is always the kind-hearted one that always leaves a huge dent in the viewers' hearts. But Ali's not just kind-hearted, he was awesome and pure. He is the dictionary definition of what it means to be kind. From the very first episode, he proved to us his willingness to risk his own life in order to save others, a real hero without a cape. Throughout the entire series, Ali remained positive and didn't give up one single bit. He overcame challenges and built friendships whilst living in a horrific circumstance. He's the epitome of a character that we should all look up to. Ali made the migrant worker, exploitation in other countries more visible. As the series has the entire world hooked into their Netflix accounts, a lesser known diaspora is coming to the mainstream. Thousands of foreigners have existed in South Korea for decades, but Ali's character is now making their stories visible to a global audience. Employers would pay them very low wages and sometimes even seize their passports and pay them nothing at all. Since their visas were tied directly to their companies and there were no foreign language options for reporting exploitation, they often had no options. Isolation, small living quarters, and dangerous work environments were constant realities. The issue of migrant workers in South Korea is still prevalent, and Ali being a main character is groundbreaking. I think this is the first time these people are meeting a character that's a migrant worker in Korean society, Tripathi, the actor behind Ali, said. Ali is respectful to others and their culture. According to reports, the term Sajang Nim, Ali often uses to address the other players in the game, does not only directly translate to sir, but something far greater or higher. Sajang is a word used to mean a company president. Nim is a gender-neutral suffix that is used to elevate the person that you're speaking to, one podcast explained. This makes the direct translation for the word closer to boss sir or boss madam, depending on the gender of the person addressed. This means that Ali not only treats everyone else around him as an equal, but sometimes even much higher, because of his cultural background. What a sad thing to discover. Our hearts melted more for Ali because of that fact. Ali is undoubtedly one of the best characters on TV today, and we really hoped he had a better ending. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, check out our video, Shocking Theory on How Ali is Still Alive, and many more. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more videos like this.